Hello everybody, and it's Elvis here with another movie review. Let's get into it, folks. The Lego Ninjago movie came out recently, and I know I haven't made this review right when it came out. That's because I did not actually see it right away. Um, I didn't even see it in theaters, to be honest with you. I used a third-party site that I used to watch a lot of movies on for free without having to sign up. And I will actually be making a video on how to access that site if anybody is interested and um, just how to really get around it and use it. It's a really fun, cool site. So, Lego Ninjago Movie is the third Lego movie in this kind of Lego movie universe we've gotten over the past couple of years. The first one being the Lego Movie, respectively, and then Lego Batman, and now the Lego Ninjago Movie. Now... Ninjago was a TV show also prior to this, which uh, got a handful of seasons, I believe, and I watched the beginning of that, and I actually kind of enjoyed it, but then after a while, I kind of fell out of viewing of it and just kind of got too busy, but uh, I really enjoyed the show. I like the characters. It is a kid's show, first and foremost. I think everyone kind of already knows that, but if you're like me and you just really like Legos, you can kind of, uh, you know, see past that and still enjoy it. So this movie opens up in the real life. Um, it has Jackie Chan, who is this uh, owner of this shop, and a little kid who comes in, and it's just kind of your stereotypical scenes, and it's a little slow, I will give you that, but um, then you dive into the Ninjago story, and you really, um, you kind of just get a brief overview of how it is. It's a little more cartoony, I would say, than even the TV show, because I think the TV show kind of took its time, but this one had to cram a lot in. Um, you get Dave Franco voicing Lloyd, um, who, you know, someone said I look like, and that's not what this video is about now, but, um, and then also you got guys like Fred Amiston, you got Jackie Chan, like I said, and I think he did amazing. I think Jackie Chan in real form and also voice work did amazing, and I think that Jackie Chan is just built for these roles. I get it, it is kind of typecasting, but at the same time, he really just excels. These roles are built for him. And then you get people like Michael Pena in the back, uh, Zach Woods, who was in a, who did some good voice work for some other films. And then you get creators like uh, Charlie Bean, who worked on uh, Powerpuff Girls and Samurai Jack. So overall, you knew that this would be in decent hands. Now, it is a little bit of a lackluster story. It kind of really focuses on the Garmadon uh, Lloyd story and their fathership and son kind of family drama, which is all right, but I feel like it just takes so much away from the actual ninjas that you don't really get to know them at all. Like, So if you hadn't seen the TV show, you would know very little about the ninjas. But that being said, I think that they do dive into their talents. They get them all together going on an adventure, and they have to uh, work together with Garmadon to really um, be able to save the city from uh, Malthra. <laughs> who is basically, I think, a playoff of Mothra, at least name-wise, and it is uh, basically a cat who is uh, told to be evil by Jackie Chan at the very beginning and plays uh, one of the major villain roles. So I think it's a little bit of a, a cheap kind of scapegoat, but it's also kind of cool because they're, um, I think, referencing back to Lego Movie when they kind of bring back the real world and the Lego world together um, and kind of acknowledging that this is just a world within the human world. And um, it's not maybe true, but at the same time, it could very, in fact, really be happening while we're not seeing it. And um, I believe the lessons that are just taught um, throughout are just great. Um, they're great life lessons for kids, honestly. And I just think it is centered towards kids. So I think people need to remember that. But I also think that if you're an adult and you want to go see a fun movie, you want to go see a lot of cool uh, CGI and a lot of cool, uh, you know, Legos being built constantly around you. I just think it's a lot of fun. Um, now, would I go pay my money to go see this? Probably not. It's probably why I didn't. But that also doesn't take away that it is a really solid film and worth the watch if you can suffer through the kind of kid parts. Because a lot of kid movies do have these really kid kiddy parts. Um, you have it in Cars 3, you have it in a handful of others. But again, if you can just get through that, enjoy the story, and get to see a lot of cool Legos being built, I think you'll have a great time and should definitely check this movie out. I would give it around, mm, I'd say a B. Edging on a B minus, maybe a B plus. It's kind of in the B area. Can't really put my mind on it, but I'll just say a B uh, to be safe uh, because I thought it was a great film. It was done well. It uh, took care from the uh, TV show. It did lack at times and moved slow and also have a little lack of character development. 
but um, also still brought a lot of life and a lot of laughs to it as well. So I think overall it's a very solid film. I'll give it a B, and I would definitely suggest that if you are into those kind of movies and you were hesitant to go see it, definitely check this one out. It is worth the watch. See you guys, and have a great rest of your week.